strange idea visited me some time ago. What if, instead of using traditional microphone to pick up sound of shakuhachi, or at this matter any woodwind instrument, install an internal mic? It's alive! Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Roughly, there are two types of microphones that are widely used. First is dynamic mic. Coil is moving in a magnetic field and this motion generates electricity. Second is a condenser mic. It acts like a variable capacitor, which capacitance depends on sound pressure. There are ribbon mics, but nowadays they are not widely spread. For condenser mic to work, it needs to be charged. Large diaphragm capsules need up to 200 volt for charging. Material used to make electric capsules allows to pre-charge it and keep it charged without external source of electricity. What I needed was small enough microphone to mount in the wall which is about 6 mm thick. Perfect for this job is an electric capsule. Same is used in cheap Chinese condenser microphones. I had some copies of WM60 capsules lying around, so testing my idea, I soldered two wires to a capsule and put it inside a shakuhachi. As I should have been aware of, sound level inside a woodwind bore is much higher than outside. It made a small electric capsule go into distortion, which by itself could be a nice effect, but didn't allow clean sound even at quietest possible breath. This failure of electric capsule led me to think of other means of getting electricity from sound. Piezoelectricity is known for pretty long time, and piezo sensors are used to pick up audio signal from guitars, other string instruments and drums. Although in woodwind air is resonating and not body of an instrument. Even though piezo pickup could be connected directly into audio interface, especially if it has a high impedance input. I thought it's better for a proper amplifier in this case. So now I had to make a preamplifier which fits piezo pickup and find a way to fit said pickup inside a shakuhachi. To use a preamplifier with a piezo sensor, it needs to have very high input impedance. I came across a schematic for what is called a charge amplifier. This particular one is using a double op-amp. Charge amplifiers are used mainly with measurement equipment, such as accelerometers. Basically, to build this preamplifier, we need to choose values for three parts which depend on capacitance of a piezo sensor. Normally, for inexpensive piezo sensors, manufacturer doesn't specify a lot of characteristics, so capacitance should be measured. Capacitance of a piezo sensor I am using for this project is about 10 nanofarads, so input capacitor should be 10 times bigger, 100 nanofarads. Other two parts are feedback capacitor and feedback resistor. Feedback capacitance together with sensor capacitance determines gain, and with feedback resistance determines low cutoff frequency of an amplifier. At first I thought of making a special PCB for this preamplifier, but it is much easier to assemble it all on a perf board, if I need to change or add any part. Preamplifier is powered by a 9 volt battery, as it should be strapped somewhere on a player. It has no DC adapter socket. Two 3.5 mm sockets, PCB and a battery nicely fit inside a candy tin box. Main PCB is mounted with double sided tape. I use stereo sockets to break power from battery if jack are not plugged to prolong its life. 
I made three different sets of feedback capacitor resistor pairs to find best suitable gain. Resistors are 1 meg, 9.1 meg and 1 giga ohm. Capacitors are chosen equivalently, which gave cutoff frequency of about 30 Hz. As some preliminary tests show, 1 giga ohm resistor feedback with smallest capacitor, it produced gain of more than 26 decibels, is quite harsh. Another thing is a standard Chakuhachi has its lowest note somewhere around 260 Hz. It is not reasonable to set cutoff frequency lower than 200 Hz. So, final version will have three feedback pairs corresponding to gains of 10, 15 and 20 dB. As a lucky coincidence, Shakuhachi flute I designed earlier was made in three parts and not as it is made traditionally in two. So I could make a modified version of upper part, let's call it mouthpiece, and use other parts from original one. Piezo sensor I've chosen is a disc 12 mm in diameter and about 0.5 mm thick. It should be positioned so that excess of air pressure in Shakuhachi bore could push it and flex. I wish to make this electric mouthpiece as low profile as possible. So searching for audio connector, which is smaller than 2.5 mm jack, led me to audiophile realm. Best option is to place an MMCX connector. It will protrude a couple millimeters from a side of Shakuhachi bore. Disc of a piezo sensor lays inside a special recess connected with main bore by a small hole which is enough to let air push against the sensor. Sensor is held in place by a lid which incorporates an MMCX connector. So what is left is to wait for these parts to be printed. <laughs> 